was a surreal off season, surreal off season because you're panicking because you're like, this is another level now. You're going in a professional environment. It was like you were in pre season before pre season. That whole <laughs> off season, it was incredible. You know, like just trying to get ready. Um, and thankfully, yeah, I, I, I impressed a lot um, in the first couple of weeks in Switzerland. Switzerland was was a, a great time um, and great memories um, running through the forests um, and, and doing pre-season there. And I think we've done this. Uh, <laughs> we, so we had Gregory Dupont. So Gregory's now obviously gone on to massive things with Real Madrid and, and, and the France national team as the head of strength and conditioning sports scientists. We got him from Lille at the time, was highly regarded. And Gordon hardly let him do a hurdle. <laughs> when he was a Celtic, you know, he wasn't allowed to do anything. Um, <laughs> but you know, just just, just as it was back then, because Gordon was you know worried about it making players soft, uh, which I could understand as well completely. But Gregory Gregory was wonderful, and um, he did this uh, this new yo yo concept where yo yo usually back and forth, right? You would go to a line, mm -hmm. the, the thing would beep, and you would run back. Whereas this one was a full like 400 meter track and every 20 meters there was a cone and you had to get to the cone for every beep. And I, I just remember like, obviously this is my first time, like there's Tommy Gravison, ex Real Madrid player. I'm thinking, wow, Tommy Gravison, Yuri Yarosik, he's been at Chelsea. Uh, Magic's played, you know, scored loads of goals for Celtic last year up against it. Kenny's still here talking him going somewhere in Italy, scoring goals for Scotland. All these big players in fucking hell. But, um, I remember Tommy going, all right, lad, you know, with that German, there's been many a story about Tommy, isn't there? Like, obviously with Cy Ferry and that, but I remember Tommy going to Gregory and he's broken, and Gregory hardly speaks English. All right, lad, what the, what's the score for this, you know? Right, and he's going, oh, you just go as far. He goes, no, 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 tell me, tell me. He's going, oh, good score is this. And he's like, right, I'll tell you what, I get to that score and I stop, no problem. <laughs> and he goes, no, no, you must keep going, you must. No, 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 no! I stop. Trust me, I stop. <laughs> he gets to the gets to that gets to that level, and he just stopped. He just stopped, and he went, just he kept running though. He ran onto the minibus. Right, come on, we go now. Like, just just wanted to leave. Everyone's just look, everyone's just looking at him, man. He was what a character. Um, and there was many a story of him, like just some of the things that Tommy used to do in in the change room and say. He was just. Yeah, I mean, like the boys all talk about it, don't they? But yeah, I mean, my biggest memory and take of the the preseason I had in Switzerland was probably about five days in, um, doing a possession drill, which, which was tough, obviously, because it's preseason. It was back and forth, stopped, reset, and um, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Burns pulled me, and and just sort of, I'll never forget, like obviously that see mr celtic talking to you and just saying um you know you're here for a reason you're, you're not here just to make numbers we believe in you um and you're good enough to be here don't worry about all the noise outside or what you've done previously um it's not a problem for me son and it shouldn't be a problem for anyone else go and do the business and that was for me it was more than anything that gordon could have said or anyone could have said if mr celtic's all right well, yeah you're good 